Okay, so we're here to ask you 30 questions. So the, the name of our interview is 30 questions we ask thriving people. And clearly you are thriving and we also want to thrive. Number two, is it harder to date because of your success, do you think? Well, I don't think I'm that successful. I mean, I think, I don't think girls are too successful. I don't think there are any women that are too powerful, too successful. There are only guys who cannot take that kind of success or power. So, so Sasa, I stalk you on Instagram a lot. And I see that you wow. always date. And we had a conversation. Baking and sexual frustration. Please explain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is so good, by the way. I heard about it. I was like, why, so, why don't I bake more? <laughs> you should. You know, it takes a lot of focus and energy and patience to bake something good. And if you have so much pent-up energy, all of that sexual frustration that's kind of um, boiling inside of you, you should channel that into baking something. And the kind of satisfaction that you get from having a successful bake is not, you know, it is not the thing as like having sex, but then it's quite satisfying. It's quite <laughs> satisfying. So it's a good, it's so a, good. It's a far second from. Okay. Pros and cons of being single. Ooh, um, God, there's so many pros, but also so many cons. I'll start with the bad. So hmm. recently, I, I'm, I'm doing a bit of remodeling in my apartment, and I had to pack up a lot of my things. And I thought it was a one-person job, but the whole time, I was thinking, God, I wish I had a guy around to, like, carry boxes or to reach things that I can't reach. So I guess somebody to help me with um, handiwork in the house. That's a con. I don't have that. <laughs> I have to do everything myself. Pros of being single, so many. There's just, I've been in relationships before and not all of them have been great. Um, I'd always lose sleep over some loser or some guy. I don't get that now. <laughs> There's just so much headspace when you're when you're single there's so much freedom and freedom is good freedom is sexy um i have another question on the start of your career because this is something i'm so interested in you when you started around in your 20s you did i think you went back to the philippines and you did a 45 piece collection is wow. that right so to do that it takes a lot of guts it's a bit of a crazy thing to do 45 pieces what's crazy. your advice for people that want to be a bit more gutsy it's such a compliment when you say gutsy but i think um i was so naive <laughs> that time that's precisely why i did it i didn't realize what it entailed to do that really big collection i didn't realize like what kind of attention it would bring me i was just I was really naive, naive and I wasn't thinking about the repercussions of doing this this really big project. And at that time, I was still in my twenties. Ang dami kong energy, ang dami kong energy. Like now, if if I wanted to do a forty five piece collection, I would really have to think about it hard because wala na akong energy. Pagod, antok na ako. But then. But then at that time, because you're so excited to get in the game and to start your career and, you know, coming from school, you have all of these ideas and it was just like a totally different time. Um, thank you for calling it gutsy. I, I guess, I guess 21 year old me was gutsy, but I didn't realize it didn't come from courage. <laughs> <laughs> that that project didn't come from courage. It was really just me not knowing what I was getting myself into. I just said yes, and voila! I just did. <laughs> I just did it. You are also a dog lover. I believe it's a big passion of yours, and you have yes. a beagle named Maximus. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Is it a deal breaker for you if uh, 
a lover or someone you're dating doesn't like dogs or are scared of dogs or kinagat ng aso at takot nga. <laughs> That's pretty common. That's pretty common. Yung kinagat ng aso ng bata siya and therefore they grew up, you know, yeah. to dogs or... Um, Yes, I think it's a deal breaker. But, you know, we always say these things until we meet somebody that we're willing to change the rules for. Um, although I've never, I've never had a boyfriend that was a dog lover or a dog owner. Um, at most, they tolerated dogs or liked dogs, but from like from a distance, like they liked dogs, but they would never take care of one. Which is like a totally different um, kind of person. A dog person is somebody who's willing to pick up poop, willing to bring them to the vet, the groomer, you know, sabi nila matulo. Most love dog is like my favorite rom coms. Because this is like my number one must love dogs. If you don't like dogs, I'm going to have to I choose know. over you. Yeah. So, so other, uh, and then my daughter or my oh. son is allergic to dogs. I'm like, oh, okay, Papa, I'm going to give you a dog. What do Yeah, I can do that too. I can give up a child for, for a dog. <laughs> Let's go a bit more um, inspirational. What is the best advice that you've ever received? The best advice? Um, let me think about this first. Um... The best advice that I've ever received, um, there have been a couple, but one of my favorites was from my dad. And I I was asking him what I should take um, as, a, as a course in college. And what he told me was, the worst thing you can do for your career or your life is to be indecisive. Choose one thing. And do it well. That's the only way. That's the only way you'll you'll be okay in life. He said it to me in a shopping mall. Pero hindi ko siya makalimutan. Makes sense. I love it. Um, yeah. What you live by? Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Mesmerize. Ah, love it. Uh, <laughs> best habit that you change yourself to do. Best habit that I trained myself to do? Moisturize pa rin. <laughs> I believe moisturize. in it. I mean, who has not benefited from moisturizing? Um, we all have different skin types. And there are different types of moisturizer per skin type. But we need to do it. Yeah. How do you overcome personal roadblocks or work roadblocks or any other roadblocks the world throws at you? Do you meditate? Do you do what are the things that have helped you? Okay. So well we've discussed baking. There, there's wine. Oh yes. There's wine. <laughs> um there's of course playing with my dogs. I love I love my friends. I love talking to other people. There's nothing that puts things in perspective more than like getting to know other people, getting to know if people are also struggling like you. And that kind of puts you in your place. And, you know, that really gives you, <laughs> that gives you um, a better perspective of how lucky you are and how easy you have it when, when you get to talk to other people and you know that you're not the only one that's, you know, disappointed with the world. This one I love. What is love to you? I'm sure I've said so many things over the years, drunk, drunkenly to friends, na ang love, ganito kasi yan eh. Love, ganyan yan dapat. Love is the stamina to keep going despite it being hard. And when people say, you know, you choose to love somebody, I think that's real. Love is an action. I mean, it's an action. It's a verb. It's something that you actively do. Love doesn't magically happen to you. That's that. I think that's infatuation. I think love is hard work. And when you don't mind that hard work, that, that's real love. Okay, go come in a wedding vows. I found the trailer for this interview. <laughs> okay, what's the single best realization you've ever had? 
looks don't matter. I mean, they do, but but in the end, but in the end, it only really lasts for a moment. It is not not even like you can name ten things you like about someone, and their looks won't even be be part of it. What is the sexiest thing about you? Sorry, <laughs> this is a question I always. My humor. I my humor. humor. I've always been under the impression, and because this has been said to me several times, that guys don't like funny girls. This can be an episode for you guys. This needs to be a topic. It needs to be a topic. It needs to be discussed. And I want to know what is up. I want to know what's up. I they mention it in a lot of um, in a lot of comedies, like in in Kimmy Schmidt. Jacqueline White says that men find funny women disgusting. That's one. And then there are several articles like in the New Yorker and whatever where they discuss how some comedians, male comedians, think that females are not built for comedy. Like girls are not funny. And then there are some people that say that girls shouldn't be funny because that's not what men are attracted to. And in a recent thing that I that I watched, um, it, it's this new um, mini series with by Martin Scorsese and Fran Lebowitz on Netflix. Yes, yeah, I started watching it. Looks good. She says in her interview that her mom said that you shouldn't be funny around men because they don't like that they don't like funny girls oh my god i, I want to know up ganun ba talaga i mean hindi ko alam hindi ko alam <laughs> oh, but i take pride in being funny ganun pa rin oh man joke ako lang joke hindi pa na nila type yun dapat pala oh. joke lang with the girls mga lalaki i've like, heard and i think it depends on the guy Yeah. yeah, I've heard some people say that if you are too funny, you're too open, and then you become like a barcada of the guy, which, and then you have to keep a certain mystery. But I also like being funny, so this is a question we need to pose to the universe. I have to say, I've asked, I asked some guys, I've asked some guys like what. What's a funny girl to you that is disgusting? Like what repels you from like a funny girl? And what is your definition of a funny girl? So this is like simplified from like the several guys that I've asked before. They think funny girls are girls that laugh at their jokes. To them that like, oh, funny siya. And like girls who are like cute, funny, like... You know, in a rom com, when a girl is hot but she's clumsy or she oh, yeah, yeah. has like a weird um, habit, they the find that dream girl kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like that manic pixie dream girl thing. But Leslie Jones, not sexy. Yes, <gasps> yeah, like that yeah. kind of humor. They don't yeah. like that. Mm. So I want to know, like, what. What the deal is? What's <laughs> the problem, Anyo? My Sherlock Holmes hat is on, and I will find out. I, will find you, uh, I just I think to... you, the answer won't leave us satisfied. But I, this is a question I have for you, Sasa. Finish the statement. I will be content when blank. Obviously, not when people tell I us about funny girls. But <laughs> nako, I swear. I swear. <laughs> Pagpayat na ako. Pag oh. naging sexy ko, I swear, I'm going to be like a do-gooder. I'll be so good. I promise God. I promise. <laughs> I'll be so good. Okay, I'll join the <laughs> No, I'm sorry. That's not my real answer. I'll be content. Um, in a lot of ways, I already am. But if there's anything that I still want to happen... In my life, I'll be content when I'm able to maybe live in another country for X amount of years. I think I have like one more move left in me, and then 
Yeah, do it. And then, okay, yeah. As soon as immigration lets you in, this COVID yes. situation yes. calms down. This, this, this virus and then all its mutations have finished. Pa inject na tayo and let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Sasa, for indulging Bea and I. I hope the Thank next you. time is for tequila that outdoors. Was- Dapat umiin lang tayo sa next meet-up natin. Uh, we hope that we get to inspire some of you because Bea and I are inspired. Um, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Yes, I have to say. Especially if you answer about love, ha? Patok yun, ha? Type ko yun. Wedding vow ko na yun. Copy and paste. Bye to everybody. Bye! Thank you. Be safe.